So today we will do disassembly on the SK Ratchet, the 42470. Uh, this one's running really dry, as are most of them that I have. So we're going to re-grease everything, clean up what needs to be, and let's have a look. Now what I would do is clamp this off the edge of something so that the bottom down here isn't being pushed on while you try to remove this. And if you have it clamped down, you're going to find it's a lot easier to do. You're going to want to get a needle nose next in on this, on this uh, C-ring, whatever you want to call it, snap ring. Hold it together flat, tight, and you're going to want to wiggle this system out. Occasionally you will have that let go, but it's all about how nice your players are and these are pretty beat up. Once it's out, let go. And you will find this comes out all together. And then you have this other part. And lastly, that's it. Four pieces, including the ratchet itself. So like I was saying, this is extremely dry. There isn't any grease or lubricant on anything. And this is the way this came from the factory. This one has never been disassembled. Just, you can tell there hasn't ever been any grease anywhere on any piece of anything inside of here from factory. And that's what you get with an SK ratchet. That's just not right. Well, there is one good thing about that, though. It doesn't hold dirt. But nonetheless, we're going to give it a little uh, cleaning for what dirt is in there. Give it a spray with your favorite cleaner, whether that's a parts cleaner, a brake cleaner, or contact cleaner. All of them work. If you don't have any of that, you can even, believe it or not, use WD-40 and hose that on there, and that will actually clean also. Give it a little brushing, and it'll be back good as new. So let's clean up our stuff, clean up these few parts that you can or need to, and we'll be back with a little bit of lubricant next. So everything has now been cleaned up. Gave everything a pretty good spritz. Next thing you're going to do is dis or reassemble and now that everything is perfectly clean, have a look over each part and kind of have a look. Is anything, is anything out of the norm? I certainly don't see anything. We seem to be okay. Put your selector switch back in the middle, by the way. Just force this tab so that it's right over this other one. Then it's ready to be inserted. Next, give yourself some lubricant on all the spots that wear. So that would be around this part. And it would be the back of this that then touches first. So the inside of this area is all going to need it too. So I'll begin by putting a little bit down on the inside of here. And again, you never want to over grease these things because it becomes more of a problem than anything else and it will just start to attract more dirt now for you guys who are the purists and there are plenty of those out there like me I normally don't use grease on pretty much anything I would prefer any kind of dry lube to grease but on a ratchet you really should in my opinion do it this this is something that's gonna really take some high load and you're gonna need some crazy lubricant to work under amazing load of a ratchet so in that case, I think you really have to do it, but it's up to you. Okay, so after you have a little bit of lube in there, give the next piece whatever you think it's going to need. And I don't see any, th yeah, there is a little bit of wear back there. The selector switch, believe it or not, does touch this back plate, because I can see wear. So I'll put a little bit on there for it. Why not? Then this piece is going to drop in. And you're going to want to have it down where the, the notch is, all the way down towards the handle. All right? And we're going to put that off the edge of the bench for now, and we'll come back to that view. I'm going to just put a little more lube on the outside of this, just so that we have a really light coating on the barrel. I don't want any real slop to hang over if you will and you can put a little bit where that ring is or where that uh, yeah snap ring is going to go although don't 
don't be filling up that groove. Obviously, the snap ring is going to need to go in there, but just coat, coat the things that are going to spin or touch. Next, I want to try it inside and kind of spread that, spread the goodness around, if you will. All right, once you remove it, put that notch back down to the bottom towards the handle. We're going to put that off the edge. And I am going to come back to the view that's higher so you guys can see what's going on next. For this next part, actual mounting, you'll probably be better off if you take a soft, soft grip clamp, get your uh, ratchet held down because you're going to be in need of a third hand, if you will, otherwise. Put this ring all the way around this and let it cradle the one end. And next, you're going to slide this baby in, keeping pressure to the bottom. Keeping a load so that this ring doesn't come out the back. And don't push forward, just close. Now, sometimes you can move the selector switch left and right and it'll stop what it's doing, but this time it doesn't want to do that. There we go. There we go. All right, you now have a completed wrench. Sometimes it'll take one or two times. Sometimes it doesn't want to go first try for you, but you'll always get it. Fantastic. It sounds so much better. Next, you want to clean it up good because there's grease all over everything. And we are going to move on to the Stanley.